Glendronach lies in rolling country about 40 miles northwest of Aberdeen. It was founded in 1826, though it's thought whisky was distilled here long before. The distillery itself had been mothballed between 1996 and 2002, and although it had been brought back into production, it didn't figure strongly in the plans of its then owners. So when Billy Walker and his partners offered to buy it, it made commercial sense for both parties. We had to pinch ourselves to believe that we could and actually bought Glendronach because we knew this was a brand with really interesting history. And we knew that if we retraced the steps in terms of its tradition and its style, that we would have a very, very interesting proposition to work with. Uh, water we use for both cooling and process uh, making whisky, they don't meet. Okay. On a tour of the distillery, everyone's keen to stress the importance of the heritage of the place and the traditional production methods. The mill, I'll show you on the way through. I can't talk to you because it's on, it'll be too loud. But the mill itself is a real smashing old machine. It goes back to 1925. That's when it arrived here, brand new. I think it cost about 10 guineas. It wouldn't cost that now. It's called a bobby mill. You go to a more, you know, a more up-to-date mill, we call it a porteous mill. Bobby mill, heavy metal rolls, taking the barley through, crushing it open. OK? You'll just have to... We'll run through with the noise. At present, the distillery isn't quite at full capacity, though that is the objective. Glendronach, maximum capacity, you know, seven days, uh, 52 weeks of the year, would be about 1.7 million litres of alcohol. At present, we're working at a capacity of about 1.25 litres of alcohol uh, a year, 1.25 million a year. The whisky's distinctive colour comes from the barrels like these in which they're stored year after year after year. Some are American bourbon barrels, others held cherry or another wine, each creating a slightly different character. Yeah, I mean, for, for a long, long time, whisky was always perceived, especially malt whisky, as, a, if you like, a, a more mature person's uh, drink, uh, certainly for people of my age. And the wood finishes, uh, be it a Sauterne finish, a Muscatel finish, etc., they help us to create a, a market for maybe a, a younger, uh, slightly less mature drinker and also to attract the, the female market as well, who maybe prefer a, a slightly lighter flavour than some of the heavier sherry uh, glendronach that we produce. There's also a focus on the provenance of the product. Everything that goes into the whisky is sourced locally, something that's of increasing importance, especially in export markets. We think the comparison between <coughs> Chateau wines and uh, and distilleries are uh, they're one and the same thing. We treat these uh, brands as chateaus. Our ambition is to, to, to continue to internationalise the brands that we have, but within the footprint uh, that uh, we recognise as the right personality for these brands. He's determined that whisky from Glendronach and his other distillery at Benriach will grow to the point where they're each selling 100,000 cases a year. They've a way to go but his ambition is clear for all to see.